Hey everybody, we have something new this week. This is Gary from Timber Butte Outdoors. He's going to be doing call demonstrations once or twice a month of all the hand calls that he carries. And that way you'll be able to hear exactly what the calls you're looking at buying sound like. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Gary from Timber Butte Outdoors. I'm here today to do a little call demonstration of calls that we carry in our store so that you guys can understand how they work and what they sound like. Um, some of the calls I'm going to work with today is from Berminator and Burnham Brothers and Dan Thompson Game Calls. Verminator calls are made by Rick and Cindy Paulette, and they've been on the market for quite a while, and they're really good calls. They have some different sounds. Rick works really hard to make them sound different than other calls on the market. And we're going to start today with the Twisted Psycho. I'm going to show you how it sounds. Um, it it actually call pretty much any predator you want. Uh, it's really good for coyotes and fox and bobcat. If um, I've even known guys that use them to call bears. The it's a open reed, but the reed is split, and it makes a unique sound. Really raspy, kind of high pitch. So here we go with the call. I'll do a fawn and we'll see how it sounds. And now a jackrabbit. And a cottontail. You just move out on the reed near the tip and it'll be high pitched. If you notice that gravelly sound comes from that split reed, it can be used all year round for uh, distress sounds. You could even do coyote pup distress on it. I'll just demonstrate that. It works really good for most everything. Any kind of calling that you want to use. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the Verminator Psycho Tweety. It's also a split reed, open reed call, and it's it's real raspy, and you could use it year round for coyotes, bobcat, fox, whatever you want to call. I'll demonstrate uh, fawn. This is fawn distress. And now the jackrabbit. Move out halfway at, on the on the reed and place your lips. You notice the raspy sound that it makes with that split reed. And now I'll do the cottontail. I can even do a chicken sound on this thing. very versatile call. You can use it year-round for calling any kind of predators. Okay, and the, the next one I have is the Burnham Brothers Mini Blaster. 
It's just a enclosed reed. It's got a plastic sleeve that the reed is in. And you could bite down on with your teeth and create different sounds with it. It goes from raspy to a high pitch pretty easily. And this, this is what it sounds like. Without, without any force on the, on the tube, And I'm going to bite down on the tube a little bit and show you what it sounds like. If you put your teeth all the way to the barrel and bite down, it has a lower pitch. And you slide your teeth out on the plastic part it gets a higher pitch it's very versatile very good for year-round calling because there's so many things you could do with it bird sounds rabbit whatever uh, mouse squeaks whatever you want to do with it pup sounds Very versatile, very good call. Gary Robertson from Burnham Brothers. He he swears by this call, and it's one he uses a lot. If you watch his show on TV, he'll 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 be using this call, and it works really well. And the next call I want to introduce you to is the Dan Thompson PC One. It's a long-range jackrabbit call. It's just an enclosed reed, but as far as I'm concerned, it's probably one of the best calls on the market. And this is a brand new call. I'm taking it out of the box right now to show you how it works straight from the factory. This is one of their glossy models. They have four different colors in camouflage now that's new on the market they'll be in my store soon so this is just a single reed jackrabbit sound call and it works really well i've used these before and have pretty good success with them and i know a lot of guys that really like the wood calls better than they do the plastic or the acrylic because of the tone differences the wooden t the wooden calls produce a lower tone uh, and more rich vibrating tone so here we go i'm going to give you this yeah most guys will what they do is they'll get out there in the field and they'll just go. Which is fine and dandy, they'll call coyotes, but I'm one of those kind of guys who believe that you need to put some emotion into it, what I call blood. I think what it does is it gives the coyotes a little more to hear and it, it makes them want to check it out better. And what I mean by emotion or blood is, instead of going, do it, do it like this. That's what I call emotion or blood. Very good calls. I think everybody should have some of these in their arsenal all the time. Now the last call I want to demonstrate is the Dan Thompson Weems Replica. Weems used to be a, a call company that was producing calls back in the day. I don't, don't know exactly when it was that they were producing them, but they were very good calls at the time. I remember when I was a kid, I had a couple of them, but since then I don't know what happened to them. 
This is a jackrabbit. They make them in jackrabbit and cottontail distress. And they also are being made in the camouflage patterns, four different ones. So here's, here's what it sounds like. This call is very easy to blow. It doesn't take a lot of air to, to make it scream like that. Just, just blow through it. Very good call. Everybody should have these. At least one of them. Both these calls can be used year round. Um, you could call coyotes, fox, bobcat. You might even use it for calling bears or cougars. Just depends on what you want to hunt. Just take it out, start blowing it, find you a spot, set up do some calling. Have a good time. So thanks everybody for watching. We're going to do this once, maybe even twice a month, depending on how our schedule is. And Gary will go over different calls that he has in his arsenal, ones that he recommends. He's also going to talk about, again, what they can be used for and what time of the year, including all, all year round, if that's the case. And then also, every time we do this, he's going to give away one of the calls. So this time he's going to be giving away the Weems replica from Dan Thompson Calls. And in order to get in on the drawing on this, this is a collaboration with Varmature Magazine and with Timber Butte Outdoors. So we're on YouTube. That's fine. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe and everything. We appreciate that. But in order to win this, you're going to have to go down, hit the link in the description, and that's going to take you over to Timber Butte Outdoors' Facebook page. Once you get over there, you're going to see the video that he just filmed right here and you're going to have to go ahead and comment on that video. And you can say anything like, hey, great video, whatever, but if you have any questions, pop that in there as well. And if you want to hit his site, it's timberbutteoutdoors.com. Again, there'll be a link down below, um, not only to the Facebook page, but to his actual page with his store. And you can also get a hold of him for a bunch of other things. He has calls for you know duck hunting, for deer, elk, all that stuff, as well as predator calls. But we're focusing on predator calls because you know we're varmint hunters, and that's what we go after. And Gary is a huge varmint hunter. He helps run the Idaho uh, Varmint Hunters Association here in Idaho. And he's very ingrained with the community, knows a lot of people and everything. So this is pretty exciting for us to collaborate with him. And it's going to be great because it, as we roll these things out, you guys can hear the calls that you want to go by. It's no more where you look at it and you read some reviews and you hear what people say, but you don't actually get to hear it. Right now, you get to hear it. So that's about it. Of course, me, I'm Eric. I'm at varmature.com. We'd love for you to get over there and check out our articles, videos, everything. Join us on the forums if you want to as well. And sorry about the lighting here. The sun's been going in and out with some clouds. And you probably heard in the background some shots because there's a lot of people shooting ground squirrels out here, which is what we're about to go do now that this video is over. Thanks a lot. We'll see you over at Varmeter.com and Timber Butte Outdoors. Have a good one.